Stick with the program. Stick with the program, white people. We got you trained. We, we just about got you trained. And then you going to do this mess. Now, y'all done gave these folks this ammunition. Using all these clips and got these visual effects and all of that stuff making you look bad. Trying to distract everybody from the true issue that's at hand. But I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you something, Founders Ministry. I ain't distracted. I ain't distracted. I ain't forgot what the goal is. The goal is to get you white people to bow down to us. We are the standard. You say by what standard? Me. This is God's world and he gets to set the rules. I see godless ideologies that have spread throughout Western civilization over the last several decades with a vengeance. I'd just like to directly address my, my white brothers and sisters out there. To tell us what we are supposed to be seeing. Seek outside counsel. We're just not experts in this. I believe that God has given particularly what we call white evangelicals a divine opportunity. Many of these ideologies have been smuggled into many evangelical churches and organizations through the Trojan horse of social justice. We've got an opportunity to prove we need to listen more than we talk. I was not trained in any of this. Churches are gonna be better for, the, for finding subject matter experts and pulling them in. We've not been black. This understanding <clears throat> is what causes so many who are moving in these circles, advocating these ideologies, to tell people in the hegemony that what they must do is sit down and be quiet and listen. Let's really step up to the plate and humble ourselves the way every Christian should humble themselves and say to the Dahadis and to say to my brothers and sisters here, teach us. And I think some people think the, the gospel would advance much more rapidly if we ingratiated ourselves to the culture. So there's that impulse and then sometimes just a tenderness, like what could possibly matter if she preach. She's got a Bible word. I heard somebody on TV and she preached better than my preacher. A Southern Baptist convention that doesn't have a place for Beth Moore doesn't have a place for a lot of us. We need to turn the women loose with the gift that God have ordained them to even preach to men and women. And that's exactly what Paul instructed Phoebe to do. And then we talk ourselves into outsmarting the Bible. And uh, it's almost like, yeah, let's try a little bit. Well, no, that wouldn't matter either. And then you wake up one day and like you're egalitarian. We're always having uh, the powers, the spiritual powers and principalities exert pressure on us. That's not new. So if we can take a clear passage of scripture that says, I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority, when we're finished with it, it now says, I do permit a woman in some cases, then there is no stopping where you can take that and where that will go. I had a major a uh, newspaper called me and accosted me with that. You know, can, can you deny the complementarianism behind much abuse? I said, well, clearly it was not motivating Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> the ideas of liberal Christianity did not die. And, and they're here with a vengeance. The critical race theory and intersectionality are simply analytical tools. Not They're true. meant to be used as, as tools, not as, as a They're not, that's not true, it's naive. And, and we're seeing all of this overt attack from the left outside of the church, but the insidious stuff inside the church, frequently that people don't even recognize for what it is, that uses our guilt and our shame against us to get us to do self-destructive things. You see, it's precisely at this point that I think we're being played. We recognize the obligation and we can be played into their agenda as to what to do in order to pursue justice. That has been their core tactic for a century and a half. It's not new. It's not even new to Southern Baptists because Satan does this. He is constantly telling you you should be guilty when you're forgiven. He is constantly asking you to live with regrets when the Father has taken all the sins of the world. Y'all still don't get it. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do but to make this foolishness. See, we're trying my best to give you the olive branch, to let you know what to do to reconcile this relationship, but y'all don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to listen. And see, I'm not even mad at the Founders Ministry. I ain't even mad at them. I'm mad at the SBC. I'm mad at y'all for not staying focused on what y'all supposed to be doing. 
Why y'all worried about women preaching in the doggone pulpit? I still ain't got my money yet. I still ain't got my reparations yet. Why y'all can't be focused on one thing at a time? Over here worried about all this other stuff, giving all these white folks this ammunition. Russell Moore, what's wrong with you? You was focused. You was focused. Now you worry about Beth Moore, another white woman? Make up your mind, man, where you at? I done spent too long trying to help y'all out. And I thought you had it. Now I don't know what this documentary is going to be. But he got Matt Chandler in there with his woke self. His half woke self because I ain't heard nothing from him. He ain't come to me. He ain't sent me no email. I ain't got no correspondence. You got James on there. Merritt. I think that's his name. He's recognizing the gift of the black people around him. That's what's up. But see the woman sitting next to him looking at him like she don't even believe what he's saying. Makes me wonder, is he really woke for real? You got this Tom fella. These two Toms. Speaking up against the social justice, this injustice that they perpetuate. They the ones who let this go on. And I, and I, I need to know something. Somebody help me out. Where in the world was all the black folks? Two? Two black men? That's what you got to represent my people? Two black men? Really? Where the black women was at? Women preachers, y'all pushing for women preachers. Where the black women at? Beth Moore. Who care about Beth Moore? She ain't black. She ain't black. You could have put Oprah in there. Both of them don't believe what the Bible got to say. Win-win. Everybody happy. Blackness is represented. Whiteness is down. And you got your women preachers. Everybody happy. That's y'all problem. You focus on the wrong things. And these founders ministry folks, they figured it out. Now, I appreciate my brothers for representing. But see, Dwight, man, he's, he's lost it. I don't know where he at no more. He's just like Russell Moore. He's lost focus. And it's a shame for him because he's black. He has the gift on the outside. Yeah, he's worried about women preaching. Ain't nobody stunned that. It ain't even biblical. But see, this injustice, this social justice, that's biblical. That's right. See, y'all ain't focused. See, everything you need to know concerning the gospel is in what we're trying to tell you. We the standard. That's it. I don't know why y'all don't understand that. This right here is the kind of stuff that got James Cole saying what he said. See, y'all can't do nothing right. You can't do nothing right. You're trying to train you and you ain't doing nothing right. That's why we said y'all need to be babies. See, babies don't talk. Babies don't talk. They're silent. Only thing they're good for is whining, pooping, and eating. That's what y'all need to be doing. Russell Moore, Matt Chandler, the rest of y'all, get back your focus. Remember reparations. Remember justice. Prices need to go down. Jobs need to be made available. I need to make the same amount that the white person makes. That's what we need to be doing. I need to be able to cross the street at the same time the white man does. We don't need you being poster people. We just need you to get things done. That's what we need. We need you to use your privilege to make it happen. I need y'all to understand one thing. And I'm out of here. Blackness, blackness, blackness. That equals... To money, money, reparations, which is also money. I ain't got time to come trying to pick y'all up. You see that behind me? I ain't trying to carry you, white people. I'm not carrying you. I'm not. Get it together. This has been another message from a woke brother.